Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Positivity Report. We've got a special guest here today. She's looking at me as I talk like, wait, what? What? It's Rosie Makuga. She's hanging out with her be- new best Rosie, bud. Rosie, would you like to say hello to the people? Mm, say, I, do you say hi, da, da? <laughs> say hey, da, da. Say good morning, Burbank. Hey, da, da. <laughs> good morning, Burbank. What if she just did that? Oh, my God. What if she just opened her mouth and she was like, good morning, everybody. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my God, take your baby back. <laughs> She's a genius. She's a genius. Dude, she's uh, so cute. Thank you. Welcome, everybody, to the Positivity Report. Uh, Rosie and Amanda are in the building. Amanda's off camera. Uh, maybe she pops on when Rosie starts. I mean, she you probably got about 10 more minutes before she starts getting like, oh. eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to chew the cord. That's not good. Um, <laughs> great to see everybody here on a Thursday. Welcome back to Sinead DeFries, who we've missed terribly. And my computer was not muted. I was um, like, what is that noise? <laughs> what, where is that coming <laughs> from? And uh, we are, we, I brought the, the family into studio today because we're taking off right after the program to head north to see some family and where be are you together. Going? Uh, we're going to Carmel first. Oh, nice, uh, nice, to nice. To see nice. the family. Uh, and then uh, we're going to stop at the winery where we got married to see if David Griffin's okay. All right, sounds good. And uh, <laughs> see if, if that fire pit is there that, yep. that destroyed Sinead's sure leg. Mo- if that make is sure you there. move it out of the way. Make sure we move it out of the way. For the next person. I, I, Amanda doesn't watch the show regularly, but I, every time that that has come up on the show, I have blamed you and your mother for that one. So. That is, I would say more so my mother. But <laughs> I mean, really, truly, I'm the one at fault here, all right? <laughs> As very, very well, questionably you... and like engaging in very questionable drinking activities yep. that night. And uh, yeah, no. And I think after I burnt the first leg, the fact that I burnt the second leg. <laughs> Says everything. Is like, yes. Yeah. I, I didn't learn from the first <laughs> leg. That's a terrible idea, though. Like, why would they put a bonfire around a dance floor with a bunch of drunken people? I, I just, well, I'm I also really clumsy. Through. Honestly, there wasn't a whole lot of brain function that week. No. Mm. But it was such a great party, it was worth it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's totally worth the scars. But the, the best and worst part is you were. You want to go to the bar mic and talk real quick, or we can just hand it yeah, really? Other people burnt their legs too. I have. I'm like yeah, in a. There were like I'm in like a leg scar gang. Mm-hmm. There were three yeah. other people I think that had like oh, slight yeah. burns or. No, mine was really bad. Do you remember how Yours nasty it looked? Oh, it was brutal. When I came to Collider the day, the well, Monday after to do like TV talk or two something. Two weeks later, after I came back from my honeymoon. Oh, you were that's like, what Look it was. at my leg. And I, was I was like, like oh I gotta show God. you something. It was like all crusty. Yeah. And like infected one leg was really bad that's the one that has the crazy scar the other one just has a, a minor scar minor scar i cannot but believe they both i mean th- you have scars from our wedding well it's a, it's they got the makuga the official marrying makuga tattoo that's it's right. from a I'm, fire pit i'm scar. like basically i'm like basically this is basically a throuple at this point yeah, exactly you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah nobody yeah. else left with scars see so. you nils <laughs> yeah nobody else did have scars. i put in some serious like pain uh-huh. into that into that union yep i i hope you were drunk enough that you didn't really feel it at i the was time. i okay, was okay, i okay. knew it happened and i was like that's gonna hurt tomorrow <laughs> like it was one of those things that it was like on the fire pit but it was like in my leg and i was like this is gonna hurt and then i was like i need to move my leg and then i turned around and immediately burnt the other leg <laughs> and i was like and i oh, stood there no. in that little pink dress and I was like, this is awful. Like, yeah. I don't know what to do at this point. So I just kind of like sucked it up and pretended it didn't happen until the next day. Palon asks a very good question in chat. Thank you, Palon. Oh. And then we do have a super chat. Our I'm girl, so Alina ben- Bennett, who <laughs> says, good morning, everyone. Rosie is the cutest. I agree. Mm-hmm. Pelon says in large letters, why was there a fire? LOL. Well, Amanda, it was cold. It, it was, was a cold, cold night. It was a cold evening. We had was, like blankets and shawls, and we also had alcohol. Plus, and we were up north, and up it's north. not like in LA. It was cold. September 30th. So yeah. it was, yeah, it was cold at night. So we put a fire pit, which I said should have been off of the dance floor near the actual smoking area, which made way more sense. But we had one back there. Yeah, we, you guys oh, we did. did. Oh. Yes. They, were off, they were off to the side. There. It was off to the side. It was off However, to the side by like a little seating. We weren't thing. anticipating like. Honestly, uh, uh, I wasn't uh, into. Wait, I, we, you don't know what we're saying. You, <laughs> because I said no. I'm meaning we, as in my mom and I. Okay, weren't anticipating <laughs> how many people. There were so many. people. We knew how many people would on be the there, dance floor. But yes. I was thinking, like, yeah, I, you know, most weddings they have like a square of wood floor and the people dance there, but like it's not very big because you have other people hanging out in lounge areas right. and at their tables and whatever. I did not really anticipate like. Everybody was on How the dance floor. How many people would be on the dance floor? It was floor. like uh, a party at that point. Uh, uh, 
I would like to no, point out you since did six tell months. Me. Before, I was like, you've never been to a Makuga yes, wedding. You, you don't know that everybody me. lives everybody on the dance floor for four straight hours. As soon as the music starts, no Makuga leaves a dance floor Good unless fact. it's to go yeah. to the bar to get a drink, which was on the dance floor. Yeah, it Your was. Daddy, yeah, it, yeah. In order to get married at this property that we really loved, it, yeah. we had to like. It was very unique the setup, and they'd never done weddings our size mm-hmm. before. They just started doing weddings in general, but like the biggest wedding they'd ever had there was like. 50 people and it was just like a seated casual dinner so this was like a trial for them and we trial failed we were thinking like (laughs) no it was a it was a beautiful place to have a wedding it was was amazing trial failed in our thing because we had to go pick up the trash the next day yeah we did not plan for like trash pickup oh the next day we totally went and like picked up all of the trash and here I don't know if it we've was. ever shown. I'm going to email you a video. If you've got your uh, Positivity Report bingo card, you've got the Josh McCuga emails Ikeka something during the show. Uh, oh, Rosie loves it. Sinead. Um, was okay. I going to say, I will say this. That was, Riley, you were there. I was there. We were very drunk. I do remember that. <laughs> oh, oh, On the bus yeah. ride home. Do you remember that? Oh, my God, we were hammered. <laughs> oh. um, uh, yeah, hammered. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That wedding was so much fun. It is like the oh. wedding I... It's like my gold standard of weddings. Oh, I compare I'll take that. I compare all the weddings to your wedding because it was just a blast. Oh, I'm so glad it was fun because you know you never you like want everybody to have fun. You hope and it'll you be stress fun. about it for right. so long. Like, will people be happy? Will they be having fun? But you don't get to enjoy your wedding like other no. people do. So no. you're like, was that fun? I don't know. And a lot of it is for other people, right? Yeah. Like yeah. the ceremony is really like supposed to be for you. But the reception is like for your friends and family to celebrate, you yeah. know, you. So it's just stressful. But I just, I don't know. I always talk about your guys' wedding. It was good. Guys, this, is, be... this is what Rosie's shoe looks like. And it's adorable. It's a little cute shoe. Is this yeah. a little like moccasin? It's yeah. like a little oh my God. sock like a booty. fur boot. Have you guys, have, does she own Nikes yet? We got Converse. We just got Converse. I'm going to get her some she Air Forces. Oh. I, I thought about it. I was like, should I? But but we then can have I, matching ones. She's, I, I figure when she actually starts walking, We'll do More like shoes. actual shoes, yeah, because yeah. she just kicks them off. Right, now. but now is a great time to get them because they'll stay white, and that is the most important <laughs> aspect <laughs> of having Nike. This is true. You think Mission Eight is funny? So when I touch that microphone, I'm going to grab that cord. I got one shoe on, one shoe off. I'm kind of like my dad. I'm falling apart over here. She has these like <laughs> weird bangs. Her hair has yet to to part, find a part. So she has these like weird. I basically do the Roman bangs. soldier comb after bath time, just like straight down and forward. I hate that and you And then do I play that. the gladiator you, theme when we change her diaper. <laughs> it is so <laughs> hilarious to me how just how much she looks like Josh. I know. She's just like got Josh's face, but on like a baby body. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know. And the first time I saw her, I was like, oh my God. I was like laughing. I was like, this is amazing. Mm. When do you see a little girl look this much like their father? It is I know. shocking. I will say I though, it, like there are certain looks that she gives me, not, like over the last like month or so, that I'm like, well, that's Amanda. Yeah, no, I yeah. definitely, I definitely think that it's uh, as she's getting older, you can already see like now that she's getting like a real face, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, th- it's it's way Maybe. more. So of I both like of you. to believe that I see myself in her sometimes, but oh, no, you definitely, <laughs> really, it. truly, like people feel sorry for me and they're like, I definitely see you in her. I'm like, you guys are so nice, <laughs> but it's okay. Like it's fine. I know she looks like him. One day. There'll be an ounce of me. It's fine. Yeah, no, well. Yeah. Oh, day, hey, remember, remember, years. my kid came out white. Okay. Yeah. White. He was white. <laughs> and everyone's like, he looks well, like Nils just. Well, Nils is a pail of white that I've never seen on a exactly. human before. Exactly. Everyone's like, yeah. he looks just like you. I was like, oh, shut up. You know that you're lying straight through your teeth. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I mean, now Harrison, I feel like, looks a lot like me. Oh, totally. Yeah. Um, senior Film Times in the Soup Chat. Yes. Get her some Jordans. Thank you, Senior Film. Yeah. Jordans. I mean, here's the thing. We watched, we started, we talked about it yesterday, but we started this thing called Preschool Prep, which is a DVD set. It's not available online or an app or anything. You can't stream it. So you had to, we had to buy a DVD player and get DVDs. The only DVD that I own prior to this is Journey Live in Houston, which I can't find anywhere. Um, and so, exactly. I have, a, I have a DVD hoarding problem. I can't get rid of them. I just like the way they look and they stack really nicely. I think it's because my OCD. I it's agree too. Yeah. I love it. I like love the way they stack. Organized. Yes, oh, we have the dream. entire box uh, Seinfeld collection. Oh yeah. And then we have 
uh, all, all like the Family Guy you collection. Friends? You gotta oh, have yeah. friends. No. Right? Oh. I watch Friends like every day on yeah, TV, TV, and the Seinfeld collection doesn't belong to me. Oh. Uh-huh. But we have it, and so it's like all together. And I just like, and then we have like Tybo. Oh, <laughs> nice, Billy Blanks, baby. And I think that's actually might be a VHS DVD combo. You can't get shy of the Prince of the Islands, the Hot Friday. I have the video. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So this is me, Amanda filming me. This is me cleaning up where the ceremony was the day after the wedding. Here you go. This is uh, it's sideways, but it's fine. <laughs> so there's me. I'm cleaning, cleaning up bottles up while sprinkling. I'm trying not to get hit by the sprinklers. Those are cups because we did allow patrons to this drink during budgeting. the ceremony, which was probably the best decision we made. Yo, this, I will be stealing that. <laughs> yeah. That is oh, there a we go. fantastic uh, idea. Amanda is yelling. I got my hubby t-shirt on. Best right? hubby ever. Getting ready for the honeymoon. But this is my question. <laughs> who who goes to who goes to anywhere, really, but a wedding and has their drink... And then just tosses Drosses it on it. the wall. Yeah, yeah, that's Monster. crazy. Because then we people. did have tragedy. All of our friends like, and what family. What is this? I like, was like, Coachella? Who are these people? <laughs> yes. I'm like, did you all just dump them on the grass? Like, hey, I'm done. And then just. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. wild. It, that is actually wild. Yeah. yeah that people didn't just uh-huh. put them in a trash can. And here's the other one is. Yeah, oh, did you say dad, dad? She said, Shanae. <laughs> Shanae. Yeah, that was pretty good. Shanae. Anytime she makes a peep, he's like, oh, she said dad, dad. Like, <laughs> we have this. Now it's a war of attrition. There is a no man's land in our house between Who, myself and Amanda. What she's going to say first? Well, she does say, hey, dad, dad. Hey, dad, dad. But it's obviously not like whatever. Right, See, right. She doesn't know she's saying. And then Amanda will chime back like, mama, mama. Mom, I'm like, babe. She only, it's very weird though. When she's happy, like when she's really happy, she'll say dad, 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 dad. When she's pissed, like she hates getting her diaper changed or getting dressed. Yet that's when she says mama. (laughs) Or she says, she'll go mom, 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 mom. Like that, like she's so upset. But I'm like, only when you're pissed do you ever say mom or any form of it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's just our future. It's like she's going to run to me when she's upset and she's going to love my second shoe. She's going to love Josh because he'll be like so playful and she'll just be happy with him all the time. I mean, that's just girls and their dads, right? Yeah. Unfortunately for because I I mean, yeah. And I would if I have another one, I would like to have a girl just so Nils can experience the complete obsession because I do think it's a little unfair. I can do no wrong. I am like God to Harrison, you know? <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, no, you don't pour my juice, daddy. You don't pour it right. And Nils is like, what? Oh, burn. <laughs> yeah, and I'd be like, sorry, I guess you don't pour it right. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Learn to pour, you dumb. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know I, what you're doing over there with the juice. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Like, he can't do anything right. And he goes, last night. I don't know how night, you poured over in London there, pal, but yeah. uh, learn yeah. to pour it over here. Yeah, okay? it's insane. And last night, Her- uh, Nils goes, do you understand? This is how I feel. 99.9% of the time. And I literally looked at him and I was like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and he was like, you're such a great help. I was like, I'm tired. He loves me. I'm really sorry. Like, I love you. I got to go. Like, he, Harrison just, he just is so obsessed with me, you know? And then he'll be like, oh, mommy, I so love you sweet. so much. I love you so much. And then I'll be like, say that to daddy too, puppy. And he's like, I like you, daddy. Like that. Oh, it's awful. No. It's awful. But it's just like a he thing. Like tortures him. I know it is a thing. My sister and my nephew are the exact same. Like yeah. she just, which he loves yeah. her. Yeah, he's like obsessed it's with my just sister. One of but those there's that zero happens. discipline yeah. from my sister because well, yeah. she's like, I don't ever no. want to change. I, I never want him to stop like being no, obsessed me, with me. Same. So I will never be mean to him. Like I'll never tell him what to do. Yeah, well, that's that's the that's the age old issue. Is, but yeah. I mean, I have a brother and an older sister, and I can honestly say it's just kidding? like the the dynamics between a. a son and his mother and a daughter and his, and her father is yeah. just it's so crazy different i know um amanda c in chat says most babies are born looking like their dad so the dad can better bond with the kid it's nature and science I have i've heard, heard that, that before. Yeah. but also oh. this kid could have looked like the alien will smith punched in independence day like it's the most perfect human on the planet yeah she's really cute yeah. you guys you did good yeah she's and she, she, look at those eyelashes I know they're insane. I'm so yeah, jealous. Yeah, me too. <laughs> they're on. Oh, you, Mr. Mark, made doing faces. Oh, I like that guy. Oh, I yeah. get her every once in a while. <laughs> Is he making funny faces? She gets, you know, she's a COVID baby, so she gets overwhelmed with a lot of people. Yeah, um, yeah, new faces. She's like, she's, she kind of just like wants to. She took to you really well, Sinead. Well, you, you're a mom. You get it. Yeah, yeah but she, I'm surprised because she's been doing the Stranger Danger thing lately. Yeah, like really? where she gets a little bit weird with. New, like with new people, like where's my mom and dad? Why we went. You to, Amanda this didn't person? notice this, but we, she's. We went to the zoo on Saturday, which, by the way, when you pull up to the zoo, you've been to the LA Zoo before. 
Okay, Ken goes. He's got like a yearly pass, whatever. You pull. <laughs> he, he does. He like goes to the zoo. I didn't know the zoo. I thought we were going to walk in the zoo because the golf course, the uh, Griffith Park golf course butts up against it. And all you hear is birds. I'm like, all right, so right. we got a bird right. zoo. Right. So, But the zoo is actually like really nice. They got elephants and tigers and a, uh, a kudu. I mean, they've got all kinds of animals, and it's really Kudu. cool. Uh, we saw the kudu. It was yeah, like next to the anteater. I think it's a pudu. Pudu. That's what like it was. a kudu. Pudu. Um, the giraffes. We thought that Rosie would, like, see the giraffes or the meerkats or anything. She couldn't have cared less. No, right? yeah, she wanted to people watch more but than animals. But what Amanda didn't notice that I noticed, because I was, I was pushing the stroller most of the day, was that every person, and we were with another family and their kid, and I don't want to say anything, and he's, a very, he's cute. But everybody stopped and looked at her and was like, of oh, course. my God. It's her eyes, dude. Yeah. They, like, draw people in. Yeah. And she's yeah. smiling and she's, like, holding her feet the whole time. Like, oh, my God. She's so cute. I was like, I know. Thank you so much. She's going to ruin my life. And everybody, like, laughed. And, like, it's like, is this your first one? I was like, no, we left a three-year-old at home. She's <laughs> making us dinner later. And they were like, wait, what? what? Like, they don't think it. That's right. Um, but <laughs> she is. She looks so good on camera. Uh, she's just. Look at her. So cute. She's like, oh, she, her little gin just coming out more on camera. Yeah. I love it. Like, oh. I don't, she's she's really got a little. little oh, look at that. Well, now she's, she's gonna, strong, you guys. Yeah. Like, honestly, it's very impressive. Well, this morning, she so lately I've been doing like dances in the morning for her because she loves them. And this morning, I think I hurt my hip doing that dance to that Fall Out Boy song. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this Sorry. is the problem. Like, we want to be like, we're, we are the type of parents who like get down on the floor with her and roll around and play. Yeah. But I swear, like, getting up from the floor, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I think like, I hurt my it hip. It is just, yeah. I thought I'd be, like, a super young and youthful mom where I'm yeah. like, I have so much energy. And now I'm like, oh, my God, I was so wrong. I am tired and in pain most yeah. of the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, man. Oh, my it's God. It's a lot. And my body, like, meanwhile, my husband has lost, like, 35 pounds or something. No. and. My body oh, wants to hold on to my pregnancy weight like a bear in the winter. <laughs> like it, they're like, my body is like, no, we're gonna hold on to it for a while. The we like it. Unintentional joke Sinead has ever told on this show is when we were talking about the weight loss challenge. Like, all you need to do to lose weight is just like stretch every morning. I'm like, what? Shut the fuck. Yeah, I wish those <laughs> genetics. I you freak. I wish I had your genetics. I my whole point. I wasn't like, hey, touch your toes. You're gonna lose weight. My whole point was that in order for your muscles to be like to be able to rip and tear and Tony Horton over here to I rip agree. and tear and I'm firm up and that. tone they have to be properly warmed up otherwise you're just gonna like pull muscles and you're not gonna work out as much and like yeah I should stretch I'm, every single day I'm with you on that I think that's true but stretching you can like you burn you also burn calories Something. and fat from stretching. But let's face it, Sinead probably just did some stretches <laughs> yes. and she was like back Nils, at it I, was like, I tell Nils one of these days in. I'm just gonna wake up I'm going to be 500 pounds, and I'm going to be like, it's fine. I had a good run. Um, Nils tells me all the time, uh, yeah, I'll be like, oh, I feel so bloated. He's like, well, why don't you go do your three sit-ups and then talk to me? Because <laughs> totally. I'll be like, I feel like I'm losing, like, some muscle. And then I'll go and, like, work out for, like, 10 minutes. And I'll be like, all right. And he's like, I hate you. Yeah. I know. Last it's so, so unfair. And then Josh, like, I had a couple girlfriends over the other night for dinner, and Josh walked in the house. And I... They were like, oh, my God, Josh, Svelte. Like, wow, you are looking do you know, hot. Do you know what and I said And then later, yeah. Josh was like, to be honest with me, did you tell them to say that? <laughs> I was like, no, 100% I did not tell people to tell you you looked great. Because meanwhile, I'm sitting here still. <laughs> like why, would I, why, weight, yeah, why would I do like, that? Why would I want to pump up your head more? <laughs> she, uh, so thank you. Adorable. Yeah, that's thank you. Um, the. Uh, Ow. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're good. So uh yeah, we got we got a couple yeah. super chats. Mormouth Han says, not continuing my Sinead Polo Thursday tradition because my Army of Darkness t-shirt came in. It's groovy. Way to go. More mouth. Oh, and job. Rick Garcia throws in a super chat. Thanks, Rick, for Rosie's Jordan's fund. Thank you, Rick. Very funny. Aww. Um also uh I I'm now doing the weight loss challenge, not only for like my general well-being, but also like a lifestyle change, but also in order to fit into a Nike golf sweatshirt that Amanda says is too small for me. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, is, that's too small. That's, it's that's how you do it. Small. It's a small, so I'm going to lose as much weight until that small looks good on me. Yeah. He told me the other day, he's I'll like, I think I'm almost, I think I'm almost like to the point where I can fit into that sweatshirt. I was like, that's good news. I was like, oh, is that the goal weight? Like, fit into sweatshirt pounds? And yeah. he's like, yes. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's how excited she gets when she hears Amanda. Oh, you hear mama in there? <gasps> yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, you d- you definitely have lost weight. I do I do tell you can oh, definitely thanks. tell mostly in your face. Yeah, I lose a lot of weight in the face early, and then it then it's the midsection that I need, and then it never loses in my ham hocks, aka my fat Italian butt. It's fat. It's big. It's fat. I mean, I definitely gained weight this year, but I'm trying to hold on to it because mm-hmm. for a really long time there, I was just I just wanted to just to be a little bit less boyish mm-hmm. and a little bit more womanly. <laughs> and uh, after somebody wrote in the comments that I looked malnourished, rude. Um, I just, hell? that was like last. It was like a year and a half ago, two years ago. <laughs> somebody said I looked malnourished, and I was like, okay. And I was really, really thin too. And I. I I'd gotten down to like my lowest and just had no like muscle whatsoever. So I did s- try to like start changing up what I eat and to like add more protein and stuff because I just am on the go so much I don't eat very well and nothing like really sticks. But it actually it does seem like I am my metabolism has definitely slowed down because it has been a lot easier for me to gain weight now than it was a couple years ago. Oh, well. I welcome, mean, I like. Welcome is, to your thirties. I you know, now? about to be. Oh, cool. Don't remind that's me. That's right. We're the same. Aren't you about to be forty? Forty. Yelta. Let's talk about that. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Babe, if you're gonna talk, go to a microphone. <laughs> it's fine. You never hear. What's it matter? Rose take over the take, show, yeah. Amanda. Do the show. I don't even remember what I just. Sorry said. that I yelled at you. Oh, uh, um, you should have had a baby earlier. Oh yes. Because That's what a lot of people say. I thought because I like worked out through my pregnancy and was fit before that it would be like I would just like bounce back. And I know you never bounce back, but I just thought like, oh, it'll just fall off because like nursing and everything they say. Well, I did. I nursed and then it never fell off. And people were like, wait till you stop, because then it'll really come off. And then I stopped and I was like. <laughs> no, it's still not Liars. coming off. Yeah, I'm like wait till you start. You your look great. You know, amazing, I did that. Everyone's still. different. You know, they told me they told me contractions were like period cramps. You know, <laughs> it's one of those things. If people just say things to you that they don't mean, I it's know. all lies. But you believe it until you Absolutely. know. Absolutely, you're like yeah, until you feel like right. there's an alien monster trying to claw its way out of your vagina. And they're yeah. like, <laughs> luckily, I well, not luckily, I really wanted to experience labor, but I didn't labor with her. Because she was a scheduled C-section for a breach. She well, was breech, so uh, I Harrison, I didn't. I did labor without an epidural, and it was a nightmare. But I still ended up getting a C-section. I just went through the torture, which I, which I hear is actually worse. It was to absolute have to labor before the C-section. Oh, was that, that sounds it was horrible. horrible. I did have like a very textbook safe C-section, luckily, but. Yeah. And everyone who says but you still, who has I mean, labored without epidurals have has said like, uh, thank God you didn't experience okay. that because it's terrible. It's terrible. But be, I think because I didn't experience it, I was like, I want to. I want to feel what it mm, feels like, that. even though I'm sure in the moment I would have been like, what was I thinking? Yeah. Look at her. Yeah, she's Look sitting at up this now. hair. She's this hair uh, is. Yeah, I'm living the dream, guys. Oh, here I'm looking at my daddy's microphone. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> um. I want to do a quick shout out to our sponsor. That's Perk. We got a new sponsor, Sinead. Oh, nice. Perk. Perkclothing.com. Look at that model. Oh, babe. my gosh. Ooh-hoo-hoo. Is this their uh, so national, this is their latest national Look campaign? Look at that advertising. Keeping that up there for a while, Ikeka. Let the people really soak okay. that in. I'll yeah. be honest. Perk. I do. I really like those pants on you. I like Thank the shirt, you. too. You don't often wear Thank white you. shirts because you're Hair, body hair goes yeah, through. Chest hair comes yeah. through on the white shirts. A but white shirt looks good on you. But a white shirt looks. Shirt white shirt is, is the the staple. Every it man is. needs to have a couple of white but shirts. He, like, oh. he has to wear like either double white shirts or like yeah. a thicker one, like uh-huh. this Henley, because the regular white tee does not work. Like you can see his back, his back hair. Oh. <laughs> it's awesome. Thanks. That's my wife, everybody. So go <laughs> head on over to perkclothing.com. Use the code GPA at checkout. Get yourself some of those chinos. They make your butt look fantastic. Get yourself a Henley. I swear. Okay. I love a Henley. My entire life I've been searching for like the perfect feeling t-shirt. And this pocket tee from Perk is my favorite t-shirt. When Rosie gets married in 60 to 80 years, whatever, mm-hmm. um, I will, uh, my, the only gift I will give her husband is this shirt and be like, hey, I found it. Or wife. You pass it on. Or 
No, she, or yeah, whatever. Husband or wife, whatever. Oh right, oh right, right, exactly. Uh, I, you're gonna that. give <laughs> Rosie's future spouse your T-shirt. Yeah, and be like, I wore this forever. Now you carry on the tradition because it is the perfect shirt. I oh, found I it. see. I was I like, I don't it. understand why, we but I get it now. Forward. So yeah. go to Perk Clothing, get yourself a pocket tee. Because it's I'm that telling good. you, it I is see. this good. It's my favorite. I own two of the same T-shirts. I like the color. I, thank you. This is my current favorite color. I need, but I, uh, Neil said I had to stop because all my clothes were slowly becoming this bluish gray I color. Like it. I but it's good. really nice. Thank you. That, uh, yeah, that's nice. At shop.perk on Instagram. Use it. And if you guys want to share that image of me as a model and tell everybody I'm a model, I'd be cool with it. Because I'll be honest, there is a bald, a bald model on Bonobos, and I kind of want to be him. <laughs> well, you keep losing those pounds. Losing the pounds. Might I could be become you. a bald model. You could. Sinead DeFries Modeling Agency. I'm their first client. Bing, bang, boom. Are you going to start a modeling agency just for me? No. My <laughs> sister my sister can wrap your modeling career. Oh, yeah, that's right. Kelly DeFries. Uh, do you I can't. Mama? I can't wait to see like the people in the casting room being like, "So what made you come in today?" <laughs> oh, Josh is like, "Oh, well, you see, I married this face. I do. I love your face, oh, but I, I, I don't know if your face was made for catalogs. Rushing. I, I think it was. <laughs> I love your face. Oh, thanks. That's yeah, fine. <laughs> oh no. Oh. With it. oh, mama, come. Hi. Oh, okay. oh my God, look at that yeah. face. So cute. Mom. That's uh, ridiculous. She does love, she loves to be held. She loves just crawling around on the floor. I'll say there is some like weird satisfaction when, when you like. She cries to me and then I give her to her and she doesn't cry anymore. Yeah. yeah. Like when I, when I know I can fix everything. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, she, she really loves me mm -hmm. a lot. And then my sister will be like, she's a little attached to you. She's like slightly fussy with me. I was like. Shut up, the old bag. <laughs> yeah. Is, and that's a problem. And she comes <laughs> home and she tells me some of the things that people say to her. I was like, who are they and where do they live? Because you sound like an idiot. Everyone has an opinion. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. Everyone has an opinion. Big Lou's happen. Workshop says, making it rain on Makuga OnlyFans. Oh, baby. That's my OnlyFans uh, thing is I'm going to be the new hot ball male model on OnlyFans. J you're just going to post slightly awkward m catalog modeling pictures on your OnlyFans? Mm -hmm. Well, you can't post nude anymore, so. Oh, no. Well, I was never going to post nude, but I... I I can, listen, I, I got enough chest hair up until the pant. I'll just wear it's the chinos. It's enough coverage. Yeah. Wear the white shirt. Yeah. Ooh. You can see it underneath there. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. I appreciate your support. Uh, Sebastian uh, Fila chimes in. That's a futility card. Speaking of futility, Sinead. Yeah. Guess what? I saw. Did you see? I did. Yeah, we did. I was we did very it. excited for you guys. Did you see the the uh, the prototype? Ikaika, can you grab that? For no, me? I was I saw it while when I once I sat down and looked over there, but yeah. I didn't see it. See it. Uh, we are currently, as we speak right now, thirty three thousand nine hundred ten dollars. Let's try and get to thirty four k by the end of today. Let's go. Because at thirty five, we hit uh, our stretch goals. Now the Ooh, actual game when it comes packaging, to you, wonderful thank packaging. You. When the game comes to you, I was on the phone last night with a lovely uh, woman in China named Lily. They're going to be manufacturing this. Nice. Uh, it is a, they're called Heroes Games. If, if you check them out, everything is done green there. Oh, so, I love that. And um, everything is done, like they're one of the only factories in China, which is doing things uh, like in a renewable resource the, kind Like of they're using sustainable materials Correct. and stuff like that. That's Correct. wonderful. Yes. And uh, the new, the actual box when it comes to you will be about half as thick high half as tall i see you'll still get the same amount of stuff we're going to jam all the cards in there and stuff wow um, excellent this will the the board is actually going to be a matte finish this it won't be uh the, the gloss yeah it'll be a matte finish there's going to be some artwork inside the box as well as the rule inside there very Here's cool your, here are your cards you got your dice these will be colored the um the f's nice for futility uh, so let's hit those stretch goals because then we hit those expansion packs. We just announced, Ikeka, if you can go to the Kickstarter there real quick. Uh, we just announced uh, for all of the backers at 100 or more, um, you will get uh, our holiday edition pack. Uh, not We unlocked the social media goal. So we've got the sports pack and we've got the Your Life is a Movie pack. Speaking of Your Life is a Movie, Mark, remind me about a minute. Say Your Life is, t say your life is a Movie to me. In about a minute. In about a minute. Okay. Okay. Your life is a movie. Correct. Uh, Ikaika, scroll down there real quick. Scroll down. Scroll down. Keep scrolling. We're going to go to those stretch goals. Here we go. Right. Keep going. Right here. Uh, so there we go. Santa isn't real, but we are. Uh, $100, $100 uh, stretch pack for the holidays. So, you know, like holidays can be stressful, fun, silly. Uh, so we're making a little holiday uh, expansion pack to thank you guys for helping us hit our goal of making this game possible. Uh, we're going to, you know, all of the $100 backers and over get the game plus the expansion packs, whatever we hit of those stretch goals. If you're a $40 backer, you get the game as well. Uh, you don't get the, but all of the expansion packs you can buy through the Kickstarter as well. Yeah. 
And there you go. There's our our, our futility uh, holiday expansion oh, pack. And if you want to order, like Sinead, let's just say you want to get some family members futility. It won't arrive by Christmas, but it'll arrive shortly thereafter. So you can be like, hey, you're going to get futility. And then when it's like January around our birthdays, and everyone's like, what do we have to celebrate besides Sinead and Josh's birthday? Boom, they can celebrate getting futility in their living room. Yeah, get your mom futility for mine and Josh's birthdays. <laughs> it makes sense. Come no, I, I'm really proud of you guys. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, Doing stuff. Your life is a movie. So, well, Ikaika wanted to say something real quick. Oh, well, let's let Mark do his thing. Oh, okay. So All yesterday, right. and this is going to be a shorter show. <laughs> Mark's like, I did my thing. <laughs> I, oh. I'm done now. Uh, um, good night. What do you got? You got? I was going to give you some modeling tips if you want. Oh, right, because you were a model back in your Hawaiian yeah. days. Yeah. Oh, hold on. After after I did. Oh, oh, what? Is that young Ikaika? Uh huh. What? Look at that. Oh my God. How cute. Weekly cool. Puzzlers Science Edition. Whoa. That is so cute. Wait. That is Wait. adorable. Look at you. You guys still got the same haircut. Oh, man. My modern <laughs> pictures aren't that fun from when I was a kid. I was like miserable in most of them. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it. My parents have all these pictures of my brother with like Santa and he looks like so pristine and they have one picture of me like near the Easter bunny. Right? Really? Yeah, I did not like uh, Chuck E. Cheese, Santa, Easter Bunny. No effing way. I, going near I, uh, I was in a, like the Kellogg's Corn Flakes like, like campaigns and stuff, and, and I hated it. Like I remember, th- like think of, when I think back, and I'm like, I remember that being like the day we shot the commercial. I remember that being like the worst day of my life, <laughs> and we had to sing, "Oh what a beautiful morning," that song. And I remember just looking at my mom, being like, "Why did I have to come here?" And she being like. She made for three hours into the shoot. Like, we can't go anywhere now. And I was like, why are you doing this to me? It was insane. And then it paid for your college education. No, <laughs> it did not. <laughs> not even close. Not even but I didn't go to college, so it's well, fine. There you go. You know? Bing, bang, boom. It paid for your Jordans. That's, That's what right. matters. Uh, so, again, thank you all so much for supporting the Kickstarter. We're going to get up there. We uh, 15 days to go, soon to be 14 days to go. So, That's little cool. o- just two weeks left. You want to back it, buy some gifts for people. I was talking to our 3PL that's going to get it to everybody, setting up the Amazon store for because we're going to produce 500, maybe 1,000, depending on how much we make in this Kickstarter. We're going to make it happen. And a special thanks again to Sebastian, uh, Bruno, and Aldo. And I always forget to thank Brian Ward, who I sent the rough design of what the board should look like, and he came back with a graphic of the board. He set the base. Aldo did the artwork on it. But Brian Ward, thank you, as always, for your amazing graphic work. Your life is a movie. Here we go. Yesterday, did you see what went viral yesterday? What? Oh, yeah. How crazy was that? Uh, Jamie Costa. Our buddy Jamie Costa. Oh, yes, I did, did see that. Did you see that? I watched it, yeah. So our buddy Jamie Costa, who we've known, uh, he came on Schmoes like back in After Buzz at the house days. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like a long I mean, time I was, ago. I was going to say, I met him at Collider or one of those things yeah. years ago. Yes. Years ago, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Collider hasn't been open in years. Yeah. But um, but he's been around. he's been but around. he's been around for a long, long time. And I remember totally. even back then, um, the like the one thing I really remembered him was his impressions. Yes. Yeah. I mean, his impressions are incredible, but specific. Yeah. Like his inc- impressions are great, but one stands out above yeah. the rest. Yeah. Well, it's because he also he looks just like him. Just like him. And I remember even back then, wasn't there was there another video that went like yes. su- like yeah, semi viral? Yeah, he got famous. Okay. The beginning was him just doing Robin Williams. Yeah, and it might have even yeah. been my sister who I don't know, it could have been through Clyde, it could have been through Kelly, but yeah. I remember even back then just seeing a video and being like, first of all, to be able to do a Robin Williams impression is extremely impressive. Yes. Because Robin Williams has such a He was on your celebrity impression dating game. That's how Oh, was he? Yes. Oh, that's right. Yes. That, that's that's thank right. you, Will McLean, for yes, pumping in that. Yes. Thank you so much. His impressions are like they're so good. Yeah. And to do to be able to do a voice just like that, uh so specific but, tone and texture and like it, not Robin Williams that. does impressions yeah. of like different characters that he's like made up. Yeah. So b- to be able to nail all of these other impressions that were made up by one person that you're impersonating, and then on top of it, look exactly like that person. Incredible. Do you and think that's why that's how he got into it? Is because everyone kept saying that you look exactly like him. I well, I think he did the impression, and he's not just he doesn't just do an impression. If you guys want to see it, uh, Ed Harold tells me or somebody just said uh, 3.4 million views in two days. Okay, his test footage, and it's just Whoa. one scene. Of him doing Robin Williams finding out that John Belushi has died. And I thought he was that was a fascinating way to do it. Totally. Yeah. Uh, only in a trailer, right? He's he's getting ready to be Mork from you know Mork and Mindy when he's doing the Mork stuff. 
Mork from Ork, and he not only does the impression, like he he yeah. cha- he's like he, he is, like becomes him totally. And on top of that, he's an in, he's a, an incredible actor totally. as well. Like that's yes. the scene that they did was so good. Yes, yes. and one of the nicest guys. Oh, I know, just met. a sweetheart of a dude. Every it's, time it's we brought wonderful. him in, he's like, oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, he's great. It's really wonderful to see because obviously, like impressions, a lot of the time is very like comedic attached, or you know, it's a lot attached to stand up and stuff, which is great. And I I am always blown away by people who can do impressions. I think yeah. it's such a a skill that like when it when it pops, everyone's like, oh my god, that's amazing! But there's yeah. so many incredible people out there doing really great impressions but just to see that pop off in the that way when it's just he's so good at it yeah. uh, it makes me happy did you watch um the documentary about jim carrey doing man on the moon doing yeah Andy Kaufman, yeah. yeah right yeah i did and how like dark of a place that was yeah. for him i think that for jamie to get into this role like you have to dedicate your life into that situation mm-hmm. and that's a terrifying place to be especially for somebody that is that talented right um, and I, you know, the the only problem with all this, and I don't want to be negative. This is the positivity part. I hope that his ki- that he gets this. If there was a way for me to like do a test footage of being the next Alex Trebek or being the next host of Jeopardy, which I've already kind of done, uh, I would. It didn't go viral, but whatever. I I tried. I did it. it James, this is totally light years beyond of what that is. Being me and a host is completely different than what Jamie Costa did in this film, in this video. And you can, we can pull it up real quick and show like 15 to 20 seconds of it. Um, it's like on another level. Yeah. My biggest fear in this whole thing. I hope he gets funded. All of this kind of thing. I don't know what the goal is for anything. I would love to bring him on and kind of talk about it. Um, I'm sure he's getting all kinds of interview requests mm-hmm. right now. He's mm-hmm. probably going all over the place. Is that Hollywood just says, we don't know who he is. We're not going right. to give him a movie. Give it to Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt can do a Robin Williams, right? That's my biggest fear. But he deserves it. Jamie yeah. Costa deserves it. He's been doing this forever. He's incredibly talented. Like, make the guy's career and do it because it'll work forever from that. Yeah, he'll 100%. Get, you think that Rami Malek gets an Academy Award for uh, for uh, Teddy, Eddie, what? Freddie. Jesus, Freddie Mercury. Good <laughs> Lord. Teddy, uh, Teddy Mercury. Teddy Mercury. Probably, yeah. And, and and Jamie Costa doesn't get nominated for this if this movie is good, which the Robin Williams documentary, which they did on HBO, if you remember, yep. is is tragic. Ugh. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Oh my god, it's, it's incredible. Brutal. Is it is it newer or is it, came it this Came out like old? two years ago. Oh my god, I need to watch yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's really really good. So go ahead, uh, Ikaika. Can you fast forward like a minute in? Oh, you got to play the beginning. Though, oh yeah, right? play the beginning. Yeah, the play very the... very beginning. Yeah. I don't know who this actress is, but she reminds me of that girl that's in that Made movie. She looks like um. Uh, uh, no just uh, working on my report on dreams. <laughs> dreams? Well, dreams are a beautiful aspect of human culture. In fact, it happens when you're at night and you close your eyes and all kinds of images happen and it's really bizarre. Well, let's try this one. Well, it depends on all you ask. If you ask Cinderella, she might sing it to you and say, Robin? A dream is a wish your heart. Robin! Could you give us a moment? Fart earlier. Sorry about that. Won't happen again. <laughs> what? John Belushi died last night. What? I mean, just that what? Yeah. Bungalow. Sounds yeah. just like. I mean, I'm getting chills. You can. You can pause it, Ikeka. I mean, it's like, go and watch that whole thing. I was trying to tag him on Twitter yesterday. I don't think he's on Twitter anymore. No, and I went... Is we he used, on Insta? No, uh, he's not on there anymore. He's not. I went to go yeah. look for him, and he's not on there. Because we would go back and forth sharing Big yeah. Lebowski memes. Okay. That was our thing. <laughs> and he would send me a new one, and I'd be like, ah, and I'd send back. So I went in after this to, to go, dude. Yes. He's gone. Is he just off social media? I think he just together? got off social media. Which, um, which, hey, for a lot of people that... God bless you. Yeah, I mean... I mean, seriously, if I could yeah. get off social media sometimes, yeah. I yeah. would. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I just... Th- I think it's incredible. I mean, it's tough, I think, um, if you're going to do a Robin Williams biopic that I don't... Like, that's... This is just... There's no way of knowing if this is something um, 
that would ever, you know, happen. And his family and the foundation, he has a foundation. Right. And I think that like, have to approve. yeah, exactly. And I think it's one of those things that, you know, it's incredible that he can do this, but it's way bigger than that. You're talking yeah. about talking about someone's life and their suicide. Uh, you have to talk to their family. It has to go through a lot of other channels you know, that type of thing. Yeah. And it needs to support the right foundations and needs to be involved with the right foundations and be, needs to be the right people involved with production or telling that story. I do think a Robin Williams biopic should happen. Yeah. I do think it should happen. I just don't know if it's if it's something that can happen anytime soon. But regardless, Jamie Costa doing Rob, Rob, William, a Robin Williams impression is, it's just, be, it's, it's, beautiful. it's beautiful. It's a beautifully done project that they did. I yeah. thought it was incredible and I'm really, really incredibly happy for him. Yeah. And so is Rosie and Amanda and Mark Riley, Andy Kekishively. So Jamie, I would love to find you somewhere. I don't. I might have your email still. I don't know, but I'll reach out. Uh, Ed Haskell says that Jamie left. Now someone else owns his previous handle. So, hey man, wow. everybody does their thing, but what he does is is magical. And you know, it's that's a video that makes me smile. We can do a couple more, and then we can get out of here. But yeah, he does a good you and McGregor Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, yeah, he's good. What was he did? He didn't he do Mark? Didn't he do like a Wolverine fan fiction yeah. film? He did a Wolverine. It was really um, good. It was great. He did the Han Solo one. Yes, he that's did. Right. Uh, right. I don't what know what that? this animal is, but yeah, what, what is wait, it? Okay, Wombat. so it's, oh, is that what it is? All right, look, he just puts his hand up there, like hello. Oh my oh, god! I want to be your friend, and or if you have treats, I would like to have them too. <laughs> Hi. Like how adorable is it? I don't know who keeps a wombat in their home, but Australians. Oh uh, yeah, it's yeah. very <laughs> sanctuary. It's a part of a sanctuary. Probably I don't it's know. his wombat I... channel. Oh. oh, does it? What is the wombat channel? <laughs> we should all be Do you hear my stomach? It. It's going so loud. I'm so I sorry. No. Uh, that's a pretty Look terrifying the... looking thing. You think it's terrifying? I think that's adorable. Yeah, I mean, Look it looks closet. like a ginormous gerbil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a guinea pig. Yeah. And guinea pigs freak me out because I'm uh. like, what are you? You know, like, <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Give me fun. Stop yelling. All right, what's, we got one more ready, Kaga? Uh, three more. I found three some. Three more. Oh, okay, very good. Oh no! Oh, this is me. This is my what? dream. That's my dream. Why? Why yeah, is that your dream? Oh, man, Amazing. that looks Listen incredible. That. Splash! Oh wait, I gotta mute it. This is the one when Amanda. This is. We don't want Rosie watching this. Oh my God! I'd do that. I would never. Oh yeah. I couldn't. Even get, I couldn't even get it up to. I couldn't get up to the. Top. Couldn't get it up there. Should I? <laughs> yeah, I could. <laughs> I couldn't even get it up. No, I couldn't. Honestly, I could not get it all the way up there. I would probably start panicking and then. This is my yeah, dream. This is my dream. Wee. Yeah. When I was in college, I would do those off the top thing, and people would scream the first time I did it because they didn't know who I was, and like they thought I was just some drunk idiot falling off the platform. But uh, there's like a YouTube compilation you can watch of when they do those it's and extreme. It ex no, 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 it's oh. not fail. It's like those extreme skydives. Yeah. Into pools, though. Have you oh, seen those? Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. And not like skydiving. Yes. It's not yeah. an actual skydiving, but they are they are so high up. It is shocking, and I always wonder like how they don't blow their eardrums out. I know. Well, you gotta wear shoes. I've jumped off things so high that you have to wear shoes so you don't split your feet upon entry. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's a hell no for me. Matt the Beerman chimes in with the super chat. Mark, I'm yes. currently in the chair getting my Sam tattoo. I'll tweet you a pic later or put it in the Discord. Yes. Sam Levine. <laughs> Samwise Ganji. <laughs> no. Sam Malone. Sam from, from Trick or Treat. Yeah. That is. Yeah. All right. It's you know the little movie. the. With no. the, the pumpkin mm -mm. head and no, the bag and the no, no. candy. No. Our, our neighbors yesterday, we can go to the next video. Okay, okay. Our neighbors yesterday, oh, what's going on here? They went bar hopping and ended up here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where is this? I don't know. <laughs> Never mind, this is fire. It's just people in dinosaur costumes wrestling. <laughs> yeah, they have boxing clips and belts. Look how big the belt is. <laughs> Okay, they I'm need sorry. Three people to hear this. Where the okay. hell Where yes. is this? We we need to really stop here and talk. What is this? <laughs> and why have we never gone to this? I don't why? Know. Is this Vegas? Where it's got to be right. It has to be. <laughs> what in the ever loving world? Jurassic it's, there's Fight not night. there's not that many people there though, there's so it not. makes me feel like it's not Vegas. Because like no matter what, even if it's crap, there'd be a lot of people. Well, there's your, there's, there's your, your obligatory bald referee. So it's and then there's like oh man, we got, somebody got to find this. I was like, what are his Tickets hashtags? On sale now. Let me look. Let me look. I was like, what are his hashtags? Maybe that'll help. But it's like The Rock, <laughs> WWE. <laughs> no upcoming events. Dang it. Dang, dude. Okay, well Those we gotta legit. we gotta keep, keep, we gotta put a pin in this. <laughs> keep it in the back uh, back parts of our brain. Yes. If we Jesus. ever see it, October eighth yeah. through 9th, they were 
in Glendale, Arizona. Glendale, Glendale Arizona. Arizona. Damn it. There Everything it happens in Glendale, Arizona. Yeah. My God. Life really does find a way. <laughs> All, right. All right. We got one more. Oh. That's. Time to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we all just take our. Up. See you, everybody. <laughs> Last one. Oh, the baby puppies. <gasps> oh, they're all jumping in the pool. Let's look at this one in the. F- close. He's like, guys, 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 guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I have all the puppies? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I want that job. Oh. Talk about a dream scenario. Look at the pups. How <gasps> many does she have? There's like six of them. Oh, my God. One, They're like, yeah, get two, me the three, hell out of this water. I'm four, sure. Five, this one in front six. is so funny. I know. Uh, did somebody? Uh, I didn't agree to this. Yeah. Um, um, it's like, um, wait, I'm sorry. I didn't realize this is what we were doing hello? today. Hello? Hello? Look how he he like ju- look how he jumps in and immediately just puts his head down. <laughs> oh, I want puppies. Oh, this is the Positivity Report. Thank you all so much for being here. Sinead DeFries, thank you for making the trip. It's great to see you, as always. Of course, of course. Happy to be here. Happy to be here with my friends. And your new friend, Rosie. My new friend, Rosie. And Amanda, thank you for being Mm. here. Mark Riley. I'm getting smiles. Oh, yeah. Prince of the Islands, Aloha Friday. Uh, I won't be here tomorrow. I believe Ken will be hosting the program. That's correct. Tomorrow. Have a great time visiting your fam. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you all for your super chats and for supporting Futility, the actual game of living. Thank you all so much. Uh, it warms the heart, warms the soul, and it means the world to all of us. We're ten dollars away from thirty-four thousand, so thank you all so much. Um, we're gonna hit that thirty-five k this weekend. That first stretch goal, first financial stretch goal. We're gonna hit that this weekend. I'm proud of everybody. Remember, every single day you choose positivity. It's an active choice. Call somebody, text them, tell them you love them. It matters. It's ways to love than hate. Find the good. We'll see you next week.